talk to some people who, when they hear the word expositional or expository preaching, they think of a particular style of preaching that is basically just running commentary, verse by verse preaching. And while it's true that a lot of expository preaching does take an approach in which you expound the text uh, in its order, verse by verse, uh, it doesn't always need to take that form. And that's really not what the heart of expositional preaching is all about. In fact, some of the greatest and most devoted uh, expositional preachers in church history did not take that approach at all. Uh, but really what expository means is explaining and allowing the text to speak for itself. So it's really more focused on the content of the sermon. Is the text of scripture shaping the sermon? Or is the sermon just my thoughts that I'm kind of tagging onto or attaching to uh, a particular verse or a word in a verse uh, without consideration for its context and its original meaning and God's intended meaning for that passage? And so what we see is that from the earliest times, Christians understood all true preaching to be expository or expositional. Irenaeus said the way that pastors or elders shepherd the flock is by expounding the word to us. And I think what's happened in uh, a lot of modern evangelical preaching is that our approach to preaching has no longer been shaped by scripture and Jewish tradition and then early Christian tradition and church history. It's been shaped more by a revivalistic tradition in which the sermons are focused on high emotional appeals. And there's certainly a place for that. And, and I'm a very passionate preacher. Uh, I, I tend to move around when I preach and I'd be very dynamic in my style. Um, but sometimes we can allow that uh, revivalistic style of preaching to uh, take away from the primary biblical purpose of pastoral preaching, which is to feed and instruct and exhort the flock from God's word. And so we see that, for example, Ezra, when he instructed God's people, he went up to the table, to the podium, to the pulpit, we might say. He opened the book, he read from the book, he explained its meaning so that the people understood it, and then he exhorted them to apply it. And that's exactly what we see in the New Testament, that preaching the word was always preaching the scriptures with complete patience and teaching. And most Christian preachers through most of history have just preached through whole books of the Bible, chapter by chapter, uh, passage by passage, allowing God's word to speak for itself. And it's amazing how over the course of a 10 or a 20 or a 30 year pastoral ministry, uh, you can get through massive portions of the biblical text leading to a people that are biblically literate, that understand God's word well, that their faith is rooted in the authority of scripture and not just the opinions uh, or the charismatic ramblings of any particular pastor or preacher. And so expositional expository preaching is not so much about a style. It's not about running commentary. It's about making sure that the content of our ser sermons is thoroughly biblical and that we're letting God's word lead us and not the other way around.